The reactions that black people from all over the world have had regarding the Queen of England's death has been all over the map. Some people are mourning her death and others are reminded of their anger and contempt for the British monarchy. First thing is first, here on this channel, not only do we discuss inspirational celebrity travel, but we also shine a light on important news that impact black people around the world. So take a moment and hit the subscribe button. If you want to understand the part of the anger and the contempt many of these nations have for the Queen of England, let's get into it. There have been a number of outcries from several nations that fell under the colonial rule of the British Empire. At this moment in time, the two main nations that are creating the loudest rumblings are South Africa and India. Both countries are being vocal and imploring the British monarchy to return their country's stolen gems. She wants to walk with that diamond on a crown, the king now needs to give that back to South Africa. The focus in this video will be on South Africa, a place we travel to quite often. The people of South Africa contend that the world's largest diamond was stolen by the UK colonizers and that the diamond has in no way benefited the indigenous people of South Africa. Let's not forget it's the indigenous people who are the rightful owners of the land of South Africa. These people have had their land stolen from them and massive profits have resulted in this theft. People are still benefiting to the tune of billions of dollars as a result of goods and property that was stolen prior to and during colonial times. In researching this, I will tell you, it was really difficult to get to the true heart of why people feel these gems were stolen. The truth is hidden on how the theft occurred. However, you have to mine to get to the truth. But here we go. Let me begin by saying, I've been to the diamond mine and the mine museum multiple times. In fact, we were just there last year. The mine will tell you that they are responsible for discovering the world's largest diamond, which is owned by the British monarchy and a part of the crown jewels collection. However, the mine will never tell you the gems were stolen. In fact, several years ago, the mine would use Queen Elizabeth's crown in their marketing materials for their diamond store. Somewhere after 2016, the mine's diamond store was closed and so it no longer exists. But when you visit the diamond mine and you go on the tour, just remember, they're never going to tell you that the gems that are owned by the British monarchy were stolen from South Africa. And maybe by the end of this, you'll understand why. The people of South Africa, however, will tell you that they are the rightful owners of the world's largest diamond and that the British stole it. I'm going to tell you the public story that is given to everyone. And this will be the story that the diamond mine tells you, but I ask your patience and stay to the end because I'm going to tell you the truth of what really happened. So this is what they tell you. Back on January 26, 1905, Frederick Wells, who was the superintendent of what was known as the premier diamond mine in South Africa, was conducting an inspection through the mine. He saw a shiny object and discovered it was a diamond as large as his fist. Initially, the stone was rejected by the mine office because it wasn't believed to be real. But after further inspection, the stone was accepted and weighed in at a whopping 3,106 carats, making it the largest diamond ever to be found. I just want to state as a side note, Frederick Wells is credited as discovering the diamond, but truthfully, 
it was likely one of the black miners. It's important that you know, even when you go to South Africa today, all of the pictures that you will see of mine workers during this period of time were black Africans. They came from different villages in order to work in the mines. The superintendents were much like the overseers. And so many of these superintendents were white men. So the person who actually discovered the diamond was black and will likely never be known because Frederick Wells was credited for having discovered the diamond. The other part of the story they will tell you is that a replica of the original diamond was made and sent by a heavily guarded ship to England as a decoy. The original diamond was sent by parcel post mail in a plain box to London. The dates that are given around this event are oftentimes very fuzzy. The colonial Transvaal government in South Africa purchased the gem for 150,000 pounds. The purchase was made October 17, 1907. It was presented to King Edward VII of the United Kingdom as a gift of goodwill on his 66th birthday, November 9, 1907. The claims of theft are actually legitimate because the rough diamond was in London a few months after it had been discovered. The mining company attempted to sell it but could not find a buyer so they locked it away for two years. The colonial Transvaal government didn't actually even buy the gem until October of 1907 once they realized that no one could afford to buy it. But it gets even more interesting because the owner of Premier Mine, where the diamond was extracted, is Thomas Cullinan. That's why they call it the Cullinan Diamond. Why is that so important? It's important because Thomas Cullinan was a member of the Transvaal government legislative assembly. He was also the co-founder and chairman of what became the colonial Transvaal Chamber of Industries. So all these people from the owner of the mine to the government who supposedly bought it, all of these people are in cahoots together. They're all working together. Once the king received the diamond, the king sent the diamond to a company called Asher and Company in Amsterdam. They were well known for being experts in cleaving and polishing the diamonds. And so they received it, which resulted in it being divided into nine pieces. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the Cullinan diamond, the largest diamond ever discovered, was stolen. And here is where you can find the stolen gems that the British monarchy refused to return. Mm -hmm.